Welcome to the Waltham Public Schools Music Department. My name is Douglas Trudeau, and I am the Director of the Fine and Performing Arts Program. I'm excited to share with you today the wonderful opportunity your child will have this year to play a musical instrument. As part of our music curriculum, students entering the third grade can learn to play the violin, viola, and cello, and then become part of the school orchestra. If your child is entering the fourth grade, they can learn to play a band instrument, which consists of the trumpet, French horn, trombone, clarinet, flute, saxophone, or drums. This program is offered to your child free of charge. This year, students will begin their instrumental lessons remotely and then in small groups once we return to school. Students will need to rent an instrument from one of our vendors, or you can borrow one of the many school-owned instruments that we have. Information on our vendors and how to borrow an instrument will be sent to all third and fourth grade students in September. Lessons will begin at the end of September. Regardless of what elementary school your child attends, every third and fourth grader is eligible to participate. Please look at the following clips of the various instruments your child can play. They are being demonstrated by our very talented and engaging instrumental staff. In closing, I'd like to say that researchers have found that learning to play an instrument can enhance verbal memory, spatial reasoning, and literacy skills. Playing an instrument makes you use both sides of your brain, which strengthens your memory power. And most of all, playing an instrument is a lot of fun. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me if you have any questions. I look forward to seeing all our new musicians in the fall. Thank you. Hello, my name is Mrs. Souza. My name is Mr. Hoshek. And I'm Ms. Garcia. And we are the string teachers in the Waltham Public Schools. So without further ado, I'm going to start with the violin. Um, so if you can see, it's, it's a really beautiful instrument. It's hollow in the middle. I don't know if you can see that. And it has four strings. Um, I have something on the back called the shoulder rest. And we do have another kind of shoulder rest. It looks sort of like a sponge that some of you will get as well. So one song I'm going to play for you right now is called Las Mañanitas, so enjoy. <laughs> The violin is the highest instrument, and so the last song I'm going to play you is a song that uses the highest string. So here's our lowest strings, G, D, A, and E. But it could go pretty high. You could go like that. Probably don't want to do that too much. All right, so here's my last song, which is an Irish dance song called The Irish Washerwoman. And I'm going to send it over to you, Mr. Hoshek, talk, to talk about the viola. Thanks, Miss Sousa. All right, everyone, again, this is my instrument, the viola. It looks like the violin, and it is held the same way, but it's quite different. The sound it makes is lower, deeper, and darker. The string names are C, G, D, and A. It is for this reason, it is my favorite. It's not too big, and it's not too small. The viola is the bridge between the violin and the cello. And when all three instruments are played at the same time, the viola sound is the glue that blends the high and low sounds together.
right, and that's the viola. Thank you very much. And on to Ms. Garcia on the cello. Hi everyone, I'm Ms. Garcia and this is the cello. <laughs> Similar to the viola, it has the same strings, but it has a much deeper, fuller sound. It's the lowest of the three options. And the cello is said to sound like the human voice. So we could sing happy songs. The cello can also play sad songs. And he can even play spooky songs. So there is one more instrument, but to be honest, I didn't take it out of its case because it is just so big. It is called the string bass. And in, on our website, you'll see that there are some really good Air Force videos out and they do show the string bass in that video. So if you're a fourth grader and you would like to change to a big, big instrument, um, with approval from one of us string teachers, you may decide to switch the base. And of course, your family. So it's definitely a family decision. I hope that if you are a fourth grader watching this instrument demonstration video, that you really consider sticking with your string instrument um, if you really enjoyed playing last year. So what we're going to do now is we are going to perform a song all together because that is the most fun thing that may not happen right away in our school year, but that is our goal. We'll be able to play together, which will be really fun. Hi, Mr. Folgenetti here from the Waltham Elementary Middle School Bands. This is the trombone, which is part of the low brass section. It has a larger mouthpiece and a slide to change the pitch. I'm going to play this theme from Star Wars to show you what it sounds like. <laughs> If you're interested in playing the trombone and you like the sound of it, I highly encourage you to choose it for a fourth grade band. Hi, Mr. Folgenetti here from the Waltham Elementary Middle School Bands. Today I'm going to talk to you about the trumpet, which is a brass instrument. You buzz into the mouthpiece here and press down the three vowels to make a sound. I'm going to play for you the theme from Indiana Jones so you can hear what the trumpet sounds like. <laughs> If you like the sound of the trumpet, I highly encourage you to sign up for trumpet for fourth grade band. Hi, Mr. Fulginetti here from the middle school and elementary schools in Waltham. 
I'm going to talk to you today about a wonderful brass instrument called the French horn. It has a really warm sound and you, it's a brass instrument so you buzz into the mouthpiece, press down the valves and you notice with this one that my hand actually goes into the bell. I'm going to play for you an excerpt from Harry Potter just to show you what it sounds like. <laughs> If you're interested in the French horn, I encourage you to sign up for fourth grade band and select the French horn. Hello students, my name is Mr. Burke and I'm one of the band teachers here in Waltham, here to talk to you today about the flute. The flute is a woodwind instrument and it's one of the instruments that you could study in the fourth grade. I'm going to play for you a song on the flute called Over the Rainbow. you enjoyed that boys and girls so this is the flute one of the instruments you could study in the fourth grade hi folks i'm mr barbus i'm the band and orchestra director at waltham high school and i'm going to demonstrate the clarinet for you So that's a fun song from Star Wars. Um, and here's a lyrical piece from another movie. And every once in a while, clarinets get a really cool solo. The clarinet section of the band is like the violin section of the orchestra. We get to lead and play melody most of the time, so if you like playing the melody, this might be a good instrument for you. Hi folks, it's Mr. Barbus again, and this time I'm going to demonstrate the saxophone for you. The saxophone is a very versatile instrument. It can play classical music. Want to be in a jazz band? It can play jazz. Or you can even play cheesy pop songs from the 80s. Have fun with the saxophone. Hello students, my name is Mr. Burke here today to talk to you about the percussion instrument. 
If you study percussion in fourth grade in Waltham, you actually study two instruments, the bells, which I have right here, and the snare drum pad, which I'll show you in a moment. I'd like to play you a song on the bells called Colonel Bogey March. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, so again, this is uh, the bells, which is part of the percussion kit, which you would study in fourth grade. So I'm gonna show you what the snare drum pad sounds like next. All right, Waltham students, Mr. Burke back here with you, as promised to talk about the snare drum pad, which comes with the bells in a bell kit. Uh, that you would study in fourth grade. So what I'd like to do is play along with the Colonel Bogey March uh, tune and show you what the drums would sound like if they played that march. So here we go. would sound like if you uh, play percussion in fourth grade as I said you would play you would learn both bells and snare drum 